Hello Geminis and welcome to your August 2024 reading. So I'm happy to begin, I'm happy to present that the tarot course is done and it is on the website, you have access. Um, I've been working on this tarot course for a long time <laughs> and it's the beautiful correspondence with the Tree of Life so that we can uh, see the tarot and learn the tarot through this optic and being able, therefore, to see where we're at, what are the paths that can lead us to where we want, and what are the energies we need to embody, focus on, or see what is blocking us, and so on. It makes, a, it makes the tool of tarot even more efficient, in my belief. So, there it is. It's available. It's a, a combination of about... Uh, you know, almost 20 videos uh, and a complete work guidebook uh, to go with it. Um, so there you go. All right. It's going to be on the shop section of the website. So on this, my beautiful Geminis, um, I meditated on your energy and what spirit wanted to talk to you about. So you come in the month. And here we have, well, the one on top is the Two of Pentacles. And of course, this is when we're juggling between either our inner self, outer self, feminine, masculine, uh, I smile, but I feel like crap, or whatever it is, but it makes our emotions are up and down and so on. Here it's about what we're manifesting, what we desire, the focus of our ambition. Uh, she's the love attraction, queen of wands. We're in Leo season, so I'm not surprised you come in with the fire ele element right away, but the feminine fire element. So that's why she's the love attraction. It's not you putting your will out there. It's how you attract, which will, which fire are you attracting? And then we have seven of pentacle, eight of pentacle in reverse. And so it's kind of the stumbling in the pentacle world in a sense of, okay, what I've been attracting because I'm still juggling between two states of being, two ways of perceiving, experiencing life or my worth and my value. There's a part of me when it comes to what I realize in this matrix, in this beautiful material world. I look at it, my energy is a shovel. I go to work. I don't get fruits or value from what I do. Did I make the right choices? I'm kind of halfway through and you know, questioning myself. And the Eight of Pentacles, which should be like this, is in reverse because here we have a seven and an eight okay it's really on the level of the solar plexus in the tree of life you have the unconscious solar plexus and the conscious one the conscious one when it's too um analysis you know too uh, you know pressing the poor pros and cons and whatnot or, or just trying to uh, mentally analyze uh, what has been produced or what is the worth of what he of of his work can be stuck there and here in the unconscious when the the capacity we have to implant who we are and grow and all of this we don't have to think about it it's this natural, automatic, like the seed doesn't think, oh, I'll take a bit of potassium and I'll take this and I'll become this and I better be a straight tree. No, it just naturally grows like this. And this is when we're accomplishing ourselves naturally. It's effortless and we're just doing it. Like this, it's not effortless. There's stumbling. There's questioning in the conscious part, stumbling or resistance in the unconscious part. So that makes us juggle. 
and under that I have the world in reverse. So there's really something to understand here, maybe adjusting what we desire or our true law of attraction, but there's something that needs to be understood so that we actually really finish a certain understanding about that. The card after is the Eight of Swords. Again, another eight in that unconscious solar plexus. It's ruled by Mercury. It's when the intelligence of the divine can happen without us having to think about it. You can think about it in the way of the, the celiac plexus, where all your nerves pass, okay? And that will go and tell your... Uh, liver to process this, tell your intestine to grab this and tr throw away that. Everything is happening without you having to think about it. It's in that same area. It's the unconscious physical solar plexus, okay? The celiac plexus. So here, this is when we're, it's ruled by Mercury. So we put more mercury, more mental in something that still holds different inner truths. We're going to have like pros and cons, pros and cons. So you might be in your head a bit for a part of your month. But we have the empress in the rescue. So uh, divine feminine. This is the feminine pillar. So here... Uh, Pros and cons, do I believe it? Do I not believe it? Do I allow it? Do I not allow it? Venus, unconditional love and abundance, unconditional worth. And I guess you will, because then we have the eight of ones, another eight, another unconscious solar plexus. And this is when the energy is just flying by itself. We're serendipiting, you know, uh, synchronicity <laughs> with the universe. We're dancing with the universe because it's naturally flowing without us having to strategize or doing anything like that. It's called being in the flow of energy. Eight of Wands. And under that, King of Wands. This is a bit the result of a Leo season. And having, uh, right now you have Mars and Jupiter in Gemini. It's to bring this. So whatever is in your unconscious solar plexus that is preventing you from naturally being the Empress is going to probably be um, addressed, okay, for you this month. So that you can joyfully, easily flow in your fire. All right. Let's clarify this. I call upon the divine. I call upon the light. I call upon the Holy Spirit. Help me clarify this reading for Gemini's for the month of August 2024. All right, so show me the two of pentacle. Ooh, two of pentacle, yeah. Okay, so we have the page of pentacle in reverse. So it's almost like you're at the verge of a new way of experiencing life. Pentacle is our five senses. It's, uh, you know, the four elements and spirit. It's what creates this concrete thing that we can touch, feel, smell, and all of that. 
Page of Pentacle just grabbed an Ace of Pentacle, but here he's in reverse. It's like if he's not actually planting it, it's in his hand and he's not doing anything. There's something that you're going to understand about that that is going to change the wheel of fortune. So all of that, where is my fire going? Is it stumbling on the carpets or is it going to activate this? Making my energy say, hey, you know what? Yes, I'm going to back you up, Paige. And we're going to feed and nourish that pentacle to what it can be. You have a potential in your hand and you're not using it. I'm going to keep the wheel of fortune the world and it's right there it's waiting it's waiting for you to remove that uh, you know stick in the wheel world in reverse ah, yeah it's waiting for you to understand what was the damn lie that you kept that prevented you from being flowingly enhancing growing prospering prospering i don't even know if it's a real word in english but prosperity you see what i mean there's something you need to understand about that and here two of cups with it that's interesting because the two of cups is also it's all the mirrors in our lives let's say you have a business well that's your clients you're mirroring your clients with your water it doesn't have to be just romantic. It's your family. It's the relationship or the mirroring of vibrations, water, between your inner feminine and the outer masculine in action that we can see out there. So it's everybody. And it's even you and the divine. You and this world. It's you and. So here. Ten of Swords. That's very good, because that means that if we uh, what if we need to go this, that means we stop this. We stop the stagnation. If we get conscious of what makes us juggle, okay, that we're like this or like this, uh, it's essential. So once you're conscious of it, you have action and you have power over it. Consciousness is light. That's why we say light on the shadow. Shadow is what we don't understand, what we feel that we have the consequences of, that you know we experience, but we don't understand it. You bring light on it, you bring consciousness on it. You understand it, you don't have to live it anymore. Let's see. Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords... Ah, okay. I was saying something's going to bring that empress up. Well, I guess it's a tower and the king of sword. The tower is going to make you stop juggling. Uh, and the tower, in well, it's going to make you stop juggling. It's going to... I'm clarifying this. It's going to make you stop juggling, stop being in your head, because it's going to bring you a truth that's going to shake your ground. And where is the tower on the tree of life? It is right on the path, no, the other side. On the path between the conscious and the unconscious solar plexus. There it is. So you're really dealing with your solar plexus, with fire. We're in Leo season. All right. You're going to get out of your overactive Mercury Eight of Swords. And you're going to allow the Empress. Empress. You're going to allow Venus. Maybe Jupiter is going to send you that, you know, lightning bolt uh, to give you that discernment so that you can perceive Venus. You, if you cannot perceive her, you cannot embody her. And here I have the star in reverse so that you can realign yourself with above. So that you can throw away 
what is preventing you in your unconscious waters from being completely aligned with who you truly are, Gemini. Let's look at the Eight of Wands. Queen of Wands. Ace of Wands. Knight of Wands. Look at all that fire. For this and under that we have the king of wands so it's like you catch on fire <laughs> once you get out of there and the tower is that extra fire to realign you so the moment you get it the moment you perceive it and you understand it because they send you that tower that has an understanding in it bang you catch on fire King of Wands. That's enough to move the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, you. Ace of Cup, uh, Knight of Cup, Queen of Pentacle. Now you go for that completely. Okay, they give me the Ace of Cup again. You get out of there, Wheel of Fortune, and you go and get that cup. That's the wheel of fortune to really finish the old cycle so that you can begin a new one. I'm going to call this catching on fire because the end of the month, oh, you are. It's going to get you out of your head and you're going to ride that wave of fire. Oh, riding the fire. That's even better. And that's very Gemini. All right. So on this... My beautiful Geminis, thank you for watching, sharing, commenting, and all of that. Uh, if you want a private reading, of course, in the website, under services, it's there. And under the shop, you have the tarot course if you want. Um, thank you for the ones of you who gave donations. It helps more than you think. And this month, this month, every month, on the new moon and full moon, but this month, the full moon is on, in Aquarius around the 19th. And, of course, new moon in Leo. That's going to bring a lot of fire for you. Uh, I ask the divine to give you back in the shape that is the most beneficial for you. On this, namaste. Watch yourself going, riding the fire. All right. <laughs>